So I'm a motion designer and I find myself working in After Effects a lot, but every now and then I do use Premiere Pro to edit. So in this video, I wanna talk about some very valuable features here inside of Premiere Pro that I would consider almost as hidden features. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Please be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps us out tremendously. And if you're ready to expand the potential of your Premiere Pro projects, let's jump in and take a look at these really cool techniques. So we're gonna start off with one of my favorite features in Premiere Pro, which is creating automated subtitles for your videos. So you no longer have to use third-party applications. Premiere Pro is going to analyze your audio, transcribe it, and import it into your project exactly where it needs to be. So if you wanna create subtitles for your voiceover or interviews, what you need to do is go to Window and click on Text. This will bring up the text panel over here in Premiere Pro. Then you click on Transcripts, and you click on Transcribe Sequence. The default settings here are usually good and click on transcribe. And Premiere Pro will automatically create the transcription. And as you can see, Premiere analyzed the audio and created a transcription for us. And if we need to make any changes to the grammar, all we have to do is double click on it and we can you know, make any sort of changes that we want uh, to the transcription. And then once it's done, we can now create the subtitles. To create a subtitle, you click on the create captions icon. And here you have a number of different options. The ones we'll focus on are down here at the bottom. So uh, this is going to determine how long each subtitle line is going to be. So if we want to have more characters in line, we can go ahead and create the maximum length in characters. The minimal duration seconds will determine how long the subtitle will be up for at least. Uh, and you can change it from single to double lines and click on create. And now this will create the subtitle captions for you. And as you can see, it imported it exactly where it is on our video. So one thing you may want to do is change the design of your title. So all we'll do is click, drag, select everything. We'll go to the Essential Graphics panel, just go to Window Essential Graphics, and here you can change all the fonts and everything. So we can change this font to maybe uh, this one right here, which will look a little nicer. We can turn off the drop shadow if we think it's a little too much, or adjust the opacity of the drop shadow. Uh, we can turn it off completely, it's up to you. You can change the size of the text as well, and it'll automatically go to a double line if it gets too big. And if you want to change the alignment of the text, you can come here to Align and Transform, and you can choose where you want the subtitle position to be. And lastly, if you want to merge specific subtitles together, maybe this all should be one uh, subtitle together. I can select them both right here by shift clicking and come here to the merge captions icon. And this will make sure that both of these subtitles that were separate are now together in one subtitle graphic. Another one of my favorite techniques is being able to easily control the animation style of your keyframes. So for example, we have this title animating in here. It drops from the top of the frame to the bottom of the frame. But the entire animation is created by linear keyframes. And of course you can right click on it and change the keyframe type, but how about really customizing it? Well, you can open up the value that you animated. So there's a drop down right next to the stopwatch of what you animated. You can select you know, two sets of the keyframes and you're gonna get the handles just like you would say in After Effects. And we can move the handles to adjust the animation style. So for example, instead of this being a linear animation, it's gonna have more of a design to it. So you'll see here, it has a very slow beginning and then it comes to a nice slow stop. So essentially you can animate any group of keyframes however you see fit. And here's a side by side of these two animations now. So with the linear keyframe animations, it kind of just was all one movement. And now with these animations, it has way more style to it. So on the topic of doing keyframes, I want to talk about speed ramping, which allows you to smoothly uh, roll your footage into slow motion or into fast motion without having an abrupt cut between it. So if you want to have very smooth motion, here's how to create a speed ramp effect. Grab your pen tool and you'll see a line on your footage. If you don't see that line, come here to the wrench icon and make sure you check on uh, show video keyframes. And then you click a point where you want the slow motion to start and you move forward where you want the slow motion to end. You click another point. This will create two sets of markers on your footage. And we'll go ahead and expand these markers by a little bit. And this will give us the ability to smoothly create slow motion between our footage. So then all we need to do is come here between the markers and we could bring down this line to say 50% and this will create slow motion. So what's happening is we have our normal motion. It's gonna ease its way into slow motion. The slow motion is gonna play and now it's gonna ease its way back to normal motion. So you have a lot of control how you wanna do the speed ramping effect. And of course, before we move further into our video, if you like saving time while producing awesome work, we have over 18,000 templates for you to use here in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check out our links in the description below to see all the template packs we have, and don't forget to download your free packs here for Premiere Pro and After Effects. 
So this next technique is super quick, but how do you center or perfectly align a title correctly? So if we come here and try to move our title, you know, it's hard to roughly center it by our eyes. So what we can do is just double click on it. This is like all the text within the title block. You come here to graphics and titles here at the top and you'll come here to align the video frame and you have a few alignment options. We can come here to center horizontally, go back to it, go back to align to video frame and click on center vertically. And if you're on earlier versions of Premiere Pro, it's just gonna be a line. And the very last technique I wanna talk about is how do you add motion blur uh, to your animation? So you can see here, this title animation that we did previously doesn't have any motion blur associated with it. So instead of animating graphics uh, with your uh, motion effects control properties, what you should do is come here to effects and grab the transform effect, just type it in there and apply the transform effect to the layer that you wanna animate and animate the graphic however you see fit like you normally would. So we have our animation here, still no motion blur associated with it. And we come here and we uncheck use composition shutter angle. And then we set the shutter angle to say 180 degrees, which will give you natural uh, motion blur. You'll see that we have added motion blur to this. So if I check this on, no motion blur. If I check it off, there's motion blur. So now we have some nice motion blur associated with our graphic. If you're looking to get your hands on some free Premiere Pro templates with our Motion Duck extension, be sure to check that link out in the description below. You get a free download. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button if you're new here and always be creating.